traffic signs. The objective of this lecture is to learn and understand all about the traffic signs, road markings and traffic lights to drive safely on the road. Let's first understand the purpose of these signs. Purpose of traffic signs. Traffic signs or road signs are a common sight when we drive along any road. These signs are posted on the side of the road or above the roads to give instructions. They are used to give information, direction, warnings and order. Similar to signs, road markings help us to position our vehicle on the road and traffic lights help to control the flow of traffic. It is very important to be alert while driving and be aware of these signs, markings and lights. Ignoring any of these can be dangerous and lead to a mishap. Before discussing the signs, let's see how these signs are classified in a hierarchy. Broadly, traffic signs are divided into three categories road signs, road markings, and traffic control signals. Road signs are further divided into three subcategories, regulatory signs, warning signs, guide signs. Now let's learn about regulatory signs. Regulatory signs. These are the signs which control the actions of the road users. These signs tell road users what they must or must not do. There are five types of regulatory signs. They are control sign, mandatory sign, prohibitory sign, parking control sign, freeway control sign. Let's start from the control signs. Control signs. Control signs are used to assign right of way priority or direction of travel. Stop sign. This sign means motorist must stop. It is the only sign in the signing system which has the unique octagonal shape to differentiate from other signs because of its importance. This sign is usually found in the area where the driver's view might be obstructed or where there is an actual or hidden hazard, such as at T-junctions, service roads, slip lanes, side roads, U-turns and exit points. This sign instructs that drivers must stop before the stop line, even if there is no traffic, scan the road and then proceed safely. Give way. It means give way to motorists approaching from mainstream, either left or right. It is also known as yield sign. You may find this sign at roundabouts, T-junctions, side roads and exit points. It indicates that a motorist should slow down and, if there is any traffic, stop and give way to traffic on the main stream, but if there is no traffic, then you may proceed safely in a controlled manner. This sign means give way to pedestrians. It depicts that you must give way to pedestrians to cross the road as they are more vulnerable to mishaps and are not protected. You may find these signs commonly in slip lanes, residential areas, in sub-urban areas, places of worship, parks and shopping malls. When you see this sign, slow down, look for pedestrians, and if they are present near the road or junction, be prepared to stop in order to allow them to cross the road safely. This sign means give way to cyclists. It can be found on the junctions or roads where there is a cycle riding track crossing that particular road or junction. When you see this sign, slow down, look for cyclists, and if they are nearby, always give way to them. This sign indicates that entry into the road is forbidden. You may find this sign at parking lots, at the exit point of premises or service road, restricted or unauthorized area for private vehicles, at the end of the one-way road from the opposite direction, at the exit of U-turns and the areas dedicated for the tram. Motorists should not enter the road where the sign is posted. Violation of this sign can lead to a serious accident and may attract fines. You must go this way. This sign shows the only permitted direction of travel in the road or portion of the road on which they are posted. This sign can be seen at service roads, one-way streets, and parking lots. If the arrow is pointing to any direction, like left or right, then you must follow the direction of travel as per the sign. Now let's learn about the second type of regulatory sign, that is, mandatory signs. Mandatory signs. Mandatory signs are used to indicate the actions that must be taken. 
All the permanent mandatory signs have blue backgrounds and mostly circular shape. A head-only sign instructs that motorists must go straight ahead only. They must not make a U-turn, turn right, turn left, but have to continue driving straight. Motorists are not allowed to park in such areas. It can be seen at traffic signal, which directs for straight only. Turn right ahead, left if symbol is reversed. This sign means motorists must turn right ahead. It is used on minor roads, which alert motorists in advance that there is one-way road ahead. In case the arrow is reversed, pointing towards the left, you must turn left ahead. Turn right only. Turn right sign means that a motorist must only take right direction. While approaching to the main road, there is no option for left turn. You may find this sign when motorists are approaching the main road from a side road that is nearly perpendicular to the main road. Pass either side. Pass either side sign indicates that motorists may proceed on either side of the road in the roadway. It is usually posted at the edge of the pavement on traffic islands, at junction dividers and slip lanes. Pass either sign can also be replaced with hazard marker. Keep right. This sign indicates that motorists must position or keep to the right side. You will find this sign at parking lots, intersections and T-junctions. Keep left. This sign indicates that motorists must position or keep to the left side. This is the reverse symbol of keep right. It can be commonly found at roadside U-turns. Roundabout. This sign indicates circular intersection commonly known as roundabouts. It is posted close to the roundabouts. The arrow indicates that the vehicles must travel in anti-clockwise direction. Tram only. This sign indicates that the road or the portion of the road is set aside for the tram only. No other class of road user shall use the road or portion of the road indicated by this sign. Minimum speed limits, freeway. The sign depicts that the minimum speed limit on the freeway is 60 km per hour, where the maximum speed is 120 km per hour. It is commonly seen on freeways. Driving below speed limit without any reason can disturb other motorists and it may incur a fine. Police reduce speed. Police reduce speed sign will be seen in temporary situations at check posts or points where police are running a routine check. Drivers must slow down and follow the police instructions. Now you will learn about the third type of regulatory sign, that is prohibitory signs. Prohibitory signs are used to indicate the actions that must not be taken which are prohibited. Mostly prohibitory signs are circular in shape with white background and red border. You must not turn left. This sign prohibits entry to the left. It can be seen at junctions and parking lots and the service roads where entrance is allowed from the mainstream but exit is forbidden from service road. You must not turn right if the symbol is reversed in this sign. No U-turn. This is a no U-turn sign. It can be commonly seen at traffic signals where making a U-turn is prohibited. It is also cited at emergency crossover that is reserved for the use of emergency vehicles. No overtaking. This sign forbids the driver from overtaking. This sign is typically found at tunnels, bridges, upward inclines on hills, sharply bending roads and two-way roads where the visibility makes overtaking hazardous. No goods vehicles. This sign indicates that the entry of heavy vehicle is not allowed. It can be seen at tunnels, bridges, parking areas and on freeways with timing or lane restrictions mentioned on qualification plate. No hazardous material. This sign illustrates that any vehicle carrying hazardous material is not allowed to use that road. The yellow diamond symbol is commonly used to alert about hazardous material. You may find these signs at tunnels, freeway with qualification plate. No pedestrian. This is a no pedestrian sign. It shows that pedestrians are not allowed to walk through the road or zone. This sign can be seen at tunnels, bridges, cycling tracks, freeways, and near tram tracks. 
No cyclist. This is a no cyclist sign. It indicates that cyclists are not allowed to ride in that particular zone. This sign can also be seen at tunnels, bridges, walking tracks, freeways, and near tram tracks. No horn. The sign means that you must not use the horn unless it is very important to avoid the danger. You may commonly find this sign near hospitals, worship places, parks, residential and school areas. Priority to oncoming traffic. This sign means that you must give priority to oncoming vehicles. This sign is mostly used in provisional situations, usually on two ways traffic where your lane is temporarily blocked. In this sign, the red arrow represents your direction of travel, which is blocked, whereas black arrow represents the oncoming traffic, so you must stop and give priority to oncoming vehicles. Once the oncoming lane is clear, you may use their lane to pass the obstruction. Maximum speed 80 km per hour. The sign displays the maximum speed limit allowed to drive on that road. You must not exceed the speed limit as posted on the sign. It is posted to the roads to advise you about the speed limit of that stretch of road. Remember, violating the speed limit can lead to accidents and may attract fines. Maximum height limits. This sign shows the height limit of the road structure ahead. It is usually found at tunnels, under the bridges, covered parking and other construction zones, where the ground clearance is not very high. It means that a vehicle including or excluding load above the mentioned height is prohibited. Maximum width limits. This sign shows the maximum width permitted. This is imposed to prevent entry to roads physically incapable of accommodating larger vehicles or vehicles with wider objects. It can be seen near tunnels, bridges and basement parking. Maximum weight limits. This sign illustrates that the vehicles exceeding the maximum gross weight indicated on the sign are prohibited. The gross vehicle weight is the maximum operating mass of a vehicle as specified by the manufacturer, including occupants and cargo. This sign is usually posted before bridges that cannot sustain the load. Qualification plate. This plate is a supplementary sign, which is always attached with other signs. It displays the limitation regarding the attached sign. These plates are in rectangular shape and are found below other signs and display the information on the plate related to the sign. For example, it can be used below no hazardous material and the qualification plate will display the timings. Now you will learn about the fourth type of regulatory sign, that is parking control signs. Parking control signs are used to control and regulate stopping and parking, where you may park or must not park or stop and provide time restrictions. Paid parking sign. This sign indicates that the parking area is a paid parking zone. It also displays the time restriction. All drivers must obey the sign and should not park without paying as it could attract parking fines. Parking sign with time restriction. This sign indicates that the parking area has time restrictions. It displays further information about timing and the direction of parking. Parking for people of determination drivers. This sign shows that this particular parking is reserved for people of determination drivers and their vehicles only. It is commonly found near the mall, areas of worship, parks and government buildings or other civil services. Motorists should not park, stop or wait in this parking. Violation can attract a fine. Meter parking. This sign indicates that this is a paid parking zone and arrow indicates that the parking meter is on the right side, where you can buy a ticket to park your vehicle. Parking prohibition. Taxis only. This sign shows that this particular area is reserved for taxi only. You may commonly find these at hotels, shopping malls, airports, and metro stations. Parking prohibition, bus stops. This sign illustrates that the area is reserved for public transportation buses only. Parking prohibition, loading and unloading only. This area is reserved for vehicles that are loading or unloading at specific timings mentioned on the attached qualification plate. Parking prohibition, paid parking zone for commercial vehicles. 
This sign shows that this area is a paid parking zone only for the loading and unloading of vehicles, commercial vehicles. The separately attached qualification will display the paid timings. No stopping. These parking control signs indicate that you must not stop or park the vehicle in an area shown by these arrows, even if you are sitting in the vehicle. You may commonly find these at government offices, bend roads, lay-by parking, bridges, tunnels, tram areas, schools and petrol stations. This means stopping or parking is not allowed only towards the right side. This means stopping or parking is not allowed only towards the left side. This means stopping or parking is not allowed on both sides. No stopping with timing. This sign means stopping or parking is not allowed towards mentioned direction during the timing shown on the sign. No waiting. This sign illustrates that you cannot wait for an extended period of time. You can only stop to pick up and drop someone. You may commonly find these signs at shopping malls, near parks, school areas and airport drop-off areas and designated parking. Now you will learn about the fifth and last type of regulatory sign, that is, freeway control signs. Freeway control signs are used to indicate which roads are classified as freeway. Freeway begins. This sign represents the beginning of a freeway. Motorists must consider the codes of freeway and must drive at a speed appropriate to the situation in order to cope with the freeway moving traffic. Commonly, the maximum speed on freeway is 120 km per hour, and the minimum speed is 60 km per hour. You will find this sign at freeway entry ramp. Freeway ends. This sign informs the end of a freeway. It removes all the freeway begins restrictions. Driver must consider the road situation and speed posted on the speed sign. You will see this sign at freeway exit ramp. Warning signs. These are the signs that warn the road users about hazards or potential hazards ahead. There are three types of warning signs. They are advance warning signs, hazard marker signs, diagrammatic warning signs. Let's see the advance warning signs. Advance warning signs are mostly in triangular shape with red border and white background. These are posted in advance before the situation. Traffic signal ahead. This sign warns the drivers that they are approaching a traffic light. This sign is usually used to warn the new traffic signal ahead. Motorist must slow down, maintain lane discipline, position their vehicle according to their direction and must obey the traffic light. Stop sign ahead. This sign indicates that there is a stop sign ahead. This sign is also used before turns to warn drivers that there is a stop sign ahead. Motorists must stop as the view might be obstructed. Give way sign ahead. This sign indicates that there is a give way sign ahead. This sign is usually used before turns to warn drivers that there is a give way sign ahead. Motorists must slow down and be prepared to give way to the traffic coming from mainstream. Roundabout ahead. This sign indicates the presence of roundabout ahead. Roundabouts are different from an intersection, where the traffic moves around a circular island. It can be found on single or multiple lane roads. This sign is used to warn drivers that they are approaching a roundabout, so they must position their vehicles in the proper lane according to their direction. It is advisable to not overtake after this sign. T intersection ahead. This sign indicates that there is a T-shaped intersection ahead. It is found on two-way traffic. The road you are traveling on terminates to the continues road. Therefore, you must slow down and prepare to stop before turning either to the right or left. Most T-intersection will feature a give sign or stop sign to remind you to give the right of way to cross traffic. Side road ahead. This sign warns the driver that a road is joining from right side ahead. Drivers need to slow down and be aware of the potential hazards. Intersection ahead. This sign warns the road users that your road will intersect with another road. 
This sign is used on two-way traffic areas. Motorists must slow down and be prepared for the vehicles approaching from both directions. Always avoid overtaking in such areas. Staggered junctions. A staggered junction is a place where two opposite side roads, one on left and the other from right, meet with the main road slightly offset by a short distance. The staggered junction is found on two-way traffic. Motorists must slow down and be more careful while approaching these junctions, as the vehicles might be approaching from left and then right. Junction ahead, traffic merges from right side. This sign warns the driver that there is a junction ahead where the traffic will merge in your road from the right side. Usually it is found on main roads where the traffic approaches from the side road. In this situation, driver must slow down and be alert for the traffic. Traffic merges from left side. This sign warns drivers that your road is merging with the main road. Drivers must adjust the speed to merge with the mainstream traffic without disturbing them. Two-way traffic. This sign means that there is a two-way traffic on the road. You will find this sign commonly in the beginning of two-way traffic where traffic is separated by only a line rather than a median or barrier. Motorists need to drive carefully, position into the proper lane and must look for the potential hazards. Two-way traffic crosses one-way road ahead. This sign means that two-way traffic crossing one-way road ahead. This sign is found on one-way roads which warn that this road will terminate to a road where the traffic is moving in both directions, that is, the two-way road. Motorists must be prepared for the traffic approaching from both directions and positioned properly to turn either left or right. Dual carriage ends. This sign indicates that the dual carriageway will end ahead and will continue as a single carriageway. The dual carriageway is a road on which traffic traveling in opposite directions and are separated by a central median or divider. Single carriageway is a road on which traffic is traveling in opposite directions and is separated by strips or line. Motorists must adjust the speed and position in the proper lane. Curve in the road to the right. This sign warns that there is a curve in the road ahead to the right. This sign is found before the curve roads or hilly areas. Motorists must reduce speed, control the vehicle, and avoid lane changing, overtaking, stopping, parking, and reversing. Motorists are advised to position left lane for better view. If the symbol is reversed, motorists must take precaution for the left curve. Curves or bends. This sign warns drivers that there is a double bend ahead on the road. The symbol indicates the first bend is to the left and then to the right. The symbol must be reversed if the first bend is to the right. It is found in hilly areas or on the road with bends. Motorists need to reduce their speed and must not change lane, overtake, park, stop or reverse in the bends. Right lane ends ahead. This sign shows that right lane is ending ahead. It is also used on multi-lane roads to warn you that your lane will not continue. Motorists must adjust the speed to change lane towards the open lane without disturbing other traffic. Road narrows on the right side. This sign warns that the road is narrowing from right side, which means that the width of the road will actually be reduced. It is found on the roads where the road shoulder or the pavement is reduced. Motorists are advised to move to the left lane in case they are on the narrowing road or drive with extra care. If the symbol is reversed on the sign, motorists must take precaution for the road to narrow from the left side. Road narrows on both sides. This sign warns the driver that the road is narrowing from both sides, which means that the width of the road is actually reduced. It is found on the roads where the road median and shoulder are reduced and narrowing results in the loss of a lane which presents a hazard. Motorists are advised to adapt to the situation and refrain from driving parallel to the vehicle on their right or left. Left lane closed ahead. This sign warns that the left lane is closed ahead. If motorists are on the left lane, they should move to the right lane. 
but if they are already in the right lane, then they should be careful of the vehicles joining in their lane from the left. It may be found in temporary situations. If the symbol is reversed on this sign, motorists must take precautions for the right lane closed ahead. Diversion to the opposite carriageway ahead. This sign represents a diversion to the opposite carriageway. This is typically used in temporary situations. It warns the motorist about the diversion of traffic from one carriageway to the other. Motorists must slow down and look for the diversion of the road to pass through safely. No through road. This sign indicates that passage along the street is blocked or prohibited. The no through road sign can be seen at parking areas, construction zones and industrial areas. The sign is to warn that the road is ending ahead and the motorists must look for an alternative route. U-turn ahead. The sign indicates that there is a U-turn ahead. This sign can be seen at main roads and before traffic signals. If the motorist wishes to make a U-turn, they must position appropriately in the lane. Steep hill upwards ahead. This sign warns that the road ahead is inclining. It can be found in hilly areas. Motorists must avoid overtaking, lane changing, stopping or parking in such areas. Steep hill downwards ahead. This sign warns that the road is declining ahead. Steep hill downward ahead sign can be seen in hilly areas. It warns the motorists that the road is sloping ahead, so they must avoid overtaking, lane changing, parking, reversing or stopping. It is recommended to use lower gears to control the speed. Pedestrian crossing ahead. This sign warns the motorists about the pedestrian crossing ahead. It can be seen both at main roads as well as internal roads. The motorist must reduce the speed and give way to the pedestrian first. Moreover, avoid overtaking, overspeeding and lane changing in such areas. Children. This sign warns about children in the surroundings. It can be commonly seen near schools, residential areas, parks and playgrounds. This sign indicates that children can be present in the nearby areas. Therefore, motorists must slow down their speed and take the necessary precautions. Bicycles crossing ahead. This sign warns the motorists that there is a bicycle crossing ahead. They are advised to reduce the speed and watch out for cyclists who might be crossing on their track ahead. If there are cyclists, motorists must stop the vehicles and give way to the cyclists crossing the road. Animals. A sign with a picture of an animal, such as camel, warns drivers that animals may be on the road. The symbol on these signs may also represent sheep or goats. It can be seen near animal farms, outside city limits or mountain areas. Motorists must slow down when they see these signs and watch out for animals on the road. Leave as much space as possible to allow for their unexpected movements. Never use the horn around animals. It may frighten them and could cause them to run and cause a crash. Road works ahead. This sign warns the road users to be cautious as road work is underway. The sign is in yellow color that warns for hazards and is used in temporary situations. They are often encountered where road maintenance or construction work is being carried out. Drivers must be prepared for changed road conditions. They must reduce their speed, refrain from sounding horn, keep safe distance from the workers, barricades and traffic cones, and do not overtake in such areas. Maximum headroom at hazard ahead. This sign means maximum height limit ahead. This sign can be mostly seen before the tunnels, across the bridges and basement parking. It warns that vehicles above mentioned height are not allowed to enter. They may use other alternative route. Tunnel. This sign warns the road users that there is a tunnel ahead. Motorists must take certain actions before entering the tunnel, such as check the height and width limits, drive in open lanes indicated with green lights, Use dipped lights are on for better visibility. Maintain speed limit permitted for tunnel. Avoid overtaking, parking, stopping, reversing and sounding horn inside the tunnel. Moreover, pedestrian, cyclists and the vehicle carrying explosive materials are not allowed to use the tunnel. 
low-flying aircraft. It warns motorists that an aircraft might be flying at a lower altitude. This sign with an aircraft symbol can be seen near airports. Motorists must not get distracted with the sight and sound. Stopping and photography is prohibited in this area. Opening bridge ahead. This sign warns of a bridge which opens at intervals. There will be qualification plate attached to it for the timings. It is posted at or before the foot of the bridge. Motorists will be informed in advance through the information sign if that bridge is closed for traffic. Quayside or Riverbank. Quayside or Riverbank sign warns drivers that there is a riverbank ahead or the area where the road is terminating into the water source. This sign can be seen near creek area or riverbed. Motorists should avoid last-minute braking in these areas, as the surface might be slippery due to the moist. If parking is permitted, only park parallel to the quayside or riverbank. Risk of falling rocks. The sign alerts the driver that there is a risk of falling objects, mainly rocks. It can be seen in hilly areas or construction sites. Motorists should maintain safe distance and be cautious while driving in such areas. They should also avoid parking nearby. High voltage overhead. This sign alerts motorists about the high voltage cables running overhead on the road. Motorists must check the height limits, avoid parking or stopping, and loading or unloading their vehicles in such areas. Speed hump. This sign is used to warn the presence of a speed hump. It is used to force the motorist to control the speed of vehicles as there might be hazards like roundabout, pedestrian crossing, or junctions. It is commonly found near residential, school, and parks areas. Motorists need to slow down and cross the speed hump slowly. Uneven road. Roads are often uneven in certain areas. This sign is to warn motorists that the road surface is uneven. Motorists must slow down and avoid lane changing and overtaking. Other danger ahead. This sign warns the motorists of other dangers ahead. Motorists may encounter different types of hazards that will be defined on attached supplementary sign, such as high voltage cables, construction areas, sharp turns, temporary humps, pedestrians, or animals. Motorists must reduce their speed in such areas and be alert for the hazards. Loose chipping. This sign warns of loose chippings, such as sand or gravel. This sign is typically found on temporary roads. Motorists must reduce their speed well in advance because loose chippings might fly and hit pedestrians, other vehicles, or nearby property. Avoid hard braking to prevent skidding and losing control over the vehicle. Moreover, the traction might reduce in such areas, so maintain a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Slippery Road. This sign warns the motorists that the road is slippery ahead. It can be seen at hilly or creek areas. Motorists must reduce speed and avoid hard braking or sudden swerving. Moreover, the vehicle can become unstable, so maintain a safe space around the vehicle. Motorcyclists must take extra care because they are on two wheels. Beware Edge Way Soft. This sign warns the motorists that materials of the shoulders or verges are softer than they would be reasonably expected and may be a hazard to anyone wishing to pull off the roadway. It is located on the right side of the roadway at a distance in advance of the soft surface. Motorists need to avoid driving in this area and if it cannot be avoided due to an emergency, take care to not get stuck. Tram crossing ahead. This sign warns the road users that there is a tram route ahead and that tram may cross from right to left or left to right. The qualification plate below the sign indicates further information like tram ahead or distance to the tram or do not stop on tracks. This sign is found in the areas where tram is operating. Tram or railway crossing to the right. This sign warns the motorists that if they intend to turn right, they will cross a tram route. A supplementary plate may be attached below the sign indicating the distance to the tram crossing. Motorists need to be cautious while crossing the tram track. If the symbol is reversed on the sign, motorists must take precaution for the tram or railway crossing to the left. 
Now you will learn about the second type of warning sign, that is, hazard marker signs. The hazard marker signs identify physical hazard, such as bridge structure, guardrails, or traffic islands. At nighttime, these signs reflect due to vehicle headlight. Hazard plate. These hazard plate signs are used to identify the bridge structures and guardrails. These signs can be found on major roads to alert the motorists to position their vehicle appropriately on the road. Hazard marker. This sign is used to divert the traffic to pass either side from traffic island. Hazard marker sign can be found at junctions, traffic signals, service roads and beginning of the slip lanes. Single chevron right. Single chevron right sign indicates a change in direction to the right. This marker is posted on rail guards and used at intervals to indicate the sharpness of curve. This sign is also used at entry and exit ramps on major roads. If the symbol is reversed, it indicates a change in direction to the left. Multiple chevron right. This is a multiple chevron to right, which alerts motorists to turn right. It is commonly found on roads where there is a sharp deviation of route to the right. If the symbol is reversed, it indicates a sharp deviation of route to the left. T-junction chevron. This sign alerts the motorists to change the direction of the vehicle either to the right or left. It is found at T-junction. Single tram or railway line crossing over road. This sign alerts that a single tram or railway line crossing over the road. Motorists must be careful while crossing the tram track. Two or more tram or railway line crossing. This sign alerts that two or more tram lines are crossing over the road. Now you will learn about the third and last type of warning sign, that is, diagrammatic warning signs. Diagrammatic warning signs are used where the triangular advance warning sign does not allow sufficient space for a picture or are not big enough to draw attention to the hazard ahead. These signs help the motorists to position the vehicle appropriately well in advance. These are mainly used on high-speed roads. Right lane closure ahead. This sign depicts that the right road is closing ahead. Motorists must get prepared to enter the open lane. Additional lane added. This sign warns the motorists that an additional lane will be added ahead. Five lanes merging to four. This sign is to warn the motorists that the five lanes are now merging into four lanes. The motorist in the merging lanes must be careful as both lanes have equal allowance. Lane use controlled, trucks not permitted. This diagrammatic sign warns the heavy vehicle drivers that they are restricted from using the leftmost lanes. Lane use controlled, directional restriction. This sign warns the motorists that the leftmost lane use is controlled. Motorists in that lane must turn left ahead. Beginning or end of median. Beginning of median. This sign warns the motorist that median is beginning in the roadway ahead. Motorists must be careful with the central divider or median. End of median. This sign warns the motorist that the central reservation of median is ending ahead. Motorists must be careful in this situation. Joining lane. Both these signs warn the motorists that a lane is joining ahead. It can be from right or left as shown on the sign. Sharp curve lanes ahead. These diagrammatic warning signs warn the motorists on major road about the sharp curve lanes ahead. Motorists are advised to use the designated lane to complete the turn in a safe and controlled manner. Tram route in both directions. This sign warns pedestrians that they are about to cross a tram track. They must look in both directions, to right and left, to ensure that no tram is approaching before crossing the tram route. Tram route in single direction. This sign warns pedestrians that they are about to cross a tram track which is traveling in a single loop. The indicated arrows shows the direction of travel, so pedestrians must ensure that no tram is approaching before crossing the tram route. 
Guide signs. These are the signs that provide the direction. They include information about route numbers, street names, and destinations. These signs help motorists too. Find the destinations. Avoid confusion. Provide predictable information. Adopt directional changes in advance. Different colors are used in the background of these signs. They are blue. These are used on national routes and include the Emirates route emblem. Green. These are used on major routes inside city limits. White. These show local points, roads, or destinations. Brown. These provide additional information, including symbols, to describe the destination. Examples of emblems used on guide signs are Emirates Route Emblem. The emblem of a falcon with letter E and two or three digit number is used on Emirates routes. It is used to point the road that connects with other Emirates. Dubai Route Emblem. The emblem of a fort with letter D and two or three digit number is used within the city of Dubai. It is used to identify an intra-city network of roads and streets. There are different types of guide signs. Commonly used signs are trailblazing guide signs, advance guide signs, exit direction signs, other important signs. Let's see the trailblazing guide signs. Trailblazing guide signs are route finding signs. They have recognizable symbols or number on them which guide road users that they are on correct road to reach their required destination. There are six types of commonly used trailblazing guide signs. They are Airport sign. The sign with a picture of an aeroplane directs the motorists to the airport. City center sign. The sign with a picture of black circle with a dot guides the motorists to the central hub of the city. Emirates route sign. The sign with an emblem of falcon will link to routes that connect with other emirates. Dubai route sign. The sign with an emblem of fort with two-digit number guides for the Dubai internal roads. Freeway sign. This sign with a picture of freeway indicates the direction of freeway. Tourist destination sign. The brown background sign are commonly used for the tourists' destinations and for informing about other specific landmarks. Now you will learn about the advance guide signs. These are advance guide signs as they include the route emblems, trailblazing symbols and directional information. Motorists must check the information on advance guide signs and position their vehicle according to their required destination. Now you will learn about the exit direction signs. Exit direction signs guide motorists on the proper lane to take prior to exit. The white exit panel with black arrow shows that particular lane is dropping and moving away from main carriageway. The white arrow shows that the lane will lead you to the next exit. The black exit arrows show that both lanes are exiting from the main carriageway. Now you will learn about other important signs. Other important signs are used to provide a variety of information to the motorists on the roadway. No through road. This sign indicates that the road comes to an end ahead. You must search for an alternate route to exit. Priority over vehicle from opposite direction. This sign is giving information to the motorists that they have priority over the vehicle from the opposite direction that is diverted to your path. Parking. The sign with alphabet P represents parking. This shows the availability of parking lot. Hospital. The sign with alphabet H represents hospital. Countdown markers. Countdown markers are used with other signs to indicate their approaching distance. Each bar represents 100 meters. They are commonly used with fuel stations, roundabouts, parking, and hospital signs. No turning for lorries. This sign prohibits trucks or lorries from turning. This sign is normally attached with a U-turn sign, which means that lorries are not allowed to make a U-turn. Supplementary information signs. This sign informs the motorists that waiting is not allowed in the area. They can stop for pick and drop only. Parking for CD cars only. 
This sign illustrates that the parking is only available for country diplomats. This sign can be found near consulate or embassy areas. Diversion of traffic route. This sign indicates about the diversion of traffic route. It is a temporary sign and commonly found at construction zones. Other supplementary signs. These supplementary signs are separately attached with other signs. They provide clear information to the motorists about the distance or specific place. Reflective marker posts indicating edge of carriageway. These reflective marker signs alert motorists about the edge of the carriageway. It is commonly found on curves, bends and diversions. Lane use signals. Lane use signals indicate lanes where you can and cannot drive. These signals are kept up above the lane to indicate the use of that particular lane. It can be commonly found at tunnels and basement parking. Lane ahead open. A green arrow signal indicates the lane is open and motorists are permitted to drive in that lane. Lane ahead closed. A red X signal indicates the lane is closed and motorists are not permitted to drive in that lane. Reduce speed now. This sign is also used with other signs to inform you about the physical hazards ahead, so motorists must reduce speed and be careful. Road clear. This sign informs the motorist that the road is clear ahead and they can continue with the speed limit posted on the road. It is usually used after the completion of roadworks or the removal of obstructions. Do not enter junction. This information sign restricts the road users from entering the junction until the exit is clear from all the directions, including tram. This sign can be found in the tram area. Penalty for red light. This information sign brings the attention of motorists about violation of red light, causing accident or tram interruption, which can cause a fine up to AED 30,000 and driving license impound. Keep off tramway. This information sign brings the attention to pedestrians that always keep away from the tramway. They should always use the designated area for crossing the tram track to avoid fines, which is AED 1000. Variable message sign, VMS. Variable message signs, commonly known as VMS, are used to assist the motorists to know about different road conditions ahead, such as choice of lanes, road opening times, weather condition, heavy traffic, road accidents, or construction works. If the VMS displays the speed limit, that speed takes priority over the speed limit posted on that specific road for that particular time. Salik. Salik is an Arabic word which means open or clear. This is Dubai's electronic toll collection road system. Dubai has introduced this as part of traffic management system, allowing vehicles to move freely through the tolling point at highway speeds. In Dubai, Salik gates are located at different locations to ease the flow of traffic. Each time motorists pass through the tolling point, a specific amount will be deducted from their prepaid Salik account using advanced radio frequency identification technology, RFID. All the motor vehicles passing through the Salik tolling point must have the Salik tag with valid registered account and sufficient balance, otherwise it will be considered as a violation and can incur fines. Road markings. Road markings are applied on road surfaces to provide visual information to road users. These help to control and regulate the flow of traffic. Similar to road signs, road markings help the road users to be safe on the road. Road markings are either yellow or white. Road markings are further divided into three main categories. Regulatory road marking, warning road marking, guidance road marking. Let's learn about regulatory road markings. Regulatory road marking. These road markings tell the road users what actions they can or cannot do. Motorists must obey these road markings, otherwise it will be considered as a violation. No passing line. This is a solid line along the carriageway which means motorists must not cross this line from either side except in case of an emergency. It is commonly found on two-way roads. Stop line. 
This is a solid white line marked across the carriageway, which means you must come to a complete stop before the line. It is found at intersections with a stop sign or traffic signals. Motorists must make sure that the intersection is clear before proceeding. Give way line. This is a broken white line marked across the carriageway, which means give way to any vehicle or pedestrian crossing your path. It is found at intersections with a give way sign. Motorists must slow down or stop if necessary and make sure that the intersection is clear before proceeding. Pedestrian crossings. Pedestrian crossings are marked with thick white lines across the crossing to make it visible to the pedestrian and motorists. It can be found on single carriageway or dual carriageway. Motorists must slow down and give way to the pedestrians. Usually, zigzag lines are used before the pedestrian crossing where motorists must avoid lane changing, overtaking, parking, stopping, or reversing. Box Junction Box junctions are marked with yellow that makes a large box with crisscross grid of diagonal painted lines. Their purpose is to keep the junction clear for smooth flow of traffic. It is commonly found at intersections. Motorists should not enter the box junction until the exit is clear, even if the signal is green because it can block the traffic and can cause an accident or attract fines. Tram Line Pedestrian Crossing Tram line pedestrian crossings are marked with thick black and yellow lines across the tram tracks to make it visible to the pedestrian. Moreover, they are controlled by traffic signals. Pedestrians must observe pedestrian signal to cross the line safely. Zigzag zone line. Zigzag lines are marked with yellow at the edges and white in the center along the carriageway, which mandates road users that motorists shall not stop or park adjacent to the line markings except to give way to pedestrians or cyclists, change lane, overtake, or reverse. Cyclists and pedestrians shall not cross the zigzag zone except at pedestrian crossing. Tram Box Junction Tram Box Junction is the area where the tram track crosses the junction. The surface area along the track is highlighted with red color over the yellow box, which indicates the tram movement area. Motorists must always keep the red zone clear and not stop the vehicle on it in order to avoid obstruction to the tram movement. Now let's learn about the second type of road markings, that is, warning road markings. Warning road markings are used to warn the road users of an approaching hazard or hazardous condition. There are different types of warning road markings. Commonly used markings are rumble strip, speed humps, tram level crossing. Rumble strips. Rumble strips are painted yellow raised lines across the carriageway. When motorists drive over them, they can hear the rumble, feel the vibration, which alerts them and warns them of an approaching hazard like roundabout, pedestrian crossing, traffic light, bridge, or speed breakers. Speed humps. Speed hump markings are used to warn motorists of the presence of a speed hump in the roadway. It comprises of yellow triangular areas arranged at the entry upslope of the speed hump and the long axes of the triangle are aligned in the direction of travel. The raised table pedestrian crossing is usually combined with the speed hump marking. Motorists must reduce the speed and cross it only if it is clear. Tram level crossing. Tram level crossing is marked with thick white lines making X shape mark on the lane. This marking is used to warn the motorists that their lane is about to cross the tram line. Motorists should proceed with care as the tram might be crossing after turning from the lane. Now let's learn about the third and last type of road markings, that is, guidance road markings. Guidance road markings are used to help motorists understand the paths vehicles should follow through intersections or roundabouts. Lines in the center of the road are marked along the carriageway to separate two or more lanes traveling in the same direction. There are three different patterns of lines that provide guidance to motorists. These are short intermittent lines, long intermittent lines, continuous longitudinal lines. Short intermittent lines. 
Short, intermittent lines along the carriageway are used on a stretch of road where there is no side road, junction, or exits. It is considered as a safe zone. Motorists can change lane or overtake after performing the necessary checks. Long, intermittent lines. Long, intermittent lines along the carriageway are used on a stretch of road where there is a side road, junction, or exits. It is considered as a potential hazard zone. Motorists can change lane but need to be careful as there might be vehicles joining in their path. Continuous longitudinal lines. Continuous longitudinal lines or solid lines along the carriageway are used near the curves, intersections, hills or other danger zones. It is considered as an actual hazard zone. Motorists must not overtake or change lanes unless it is an emergency. Broken yellow line. Broken yellow line is marked along the carriageway in the center of the road. It is used on two-way or the single carriageway roads. Motorists must drive carefully and if it is necessary to overtake, they must do so safely. Broken white lines. Broken white line is painted along the carriageway in the center of the road. It is commonly used on the one-way or dual carriageway roads. Motorists must observe the pattern of the lines and drive carefully within one lane. Solid lines, single or double. Solid single or double lines are marked along the carriageway in the center of the road. Usually it is seen in areas that are hazardous, like sharp bends, where the motorist's view is not clear. Motorists must not cross these solid lines. Double yellow lines, solid on one side and broken on the other. Double yellow lines, solid on one side and broken on the other, are painted along the carriageway in the center of the road. Motorists can only cross these lines to overtake, enter or leave the road if the broken line is on their side. It is usually found in areas where the road is going uphill or downhill with bends. Edge of carriageway marking. This is a solid yellow line marked along the edge of the carriageway. The area beyond this line is called hard shoulder or emergency lane as it can only be used by emergency vehicles. Motorists should not stop beyond this line unless it is an emergency. Traffic lane arrows. Traffic lane arrows are marked in the middle of the lanes. These indicate the direction in which traffic in these lanes must travel. These arrows indicate the deceleration lane ahead. This arrow guides the motorists to move into the lane as indicated. Traffic lane markings. These markings highlight the areas that separate the traffic movements. Motorists must travel in their lane and avoid driving, parking or stopping on these markings as they indicate a physical hazard. Keep the entrance clear. This yellow marking is used at the entrance to keep it clear. It is found at the entrance of government buildings, schools or off-street premises. Motorists must not wait, stop or park their vehicles in front of this particular area because it may obstruct the way and view. Traffic control signals. Traffic control signals, also known as traffic lights, are signaling devices posted at intersections, pedestrian crossings and other locations to control the flow of traffic by giving priority to different traffic streams, including pedestrians. These traffic lights are displayed in a standard color, red, amber or yellow and green. Generally, these lights are used as traffic lights, red, amber or yellow and green, directional light, intermittent light, pedestrian light, traffic light, red. A red light signal means you must stop and do not enter the intersection. Motorists must stop before the stop line. Traffic light green. Green light signal means you may proceed in a controlled manner because the light may change at any time. The yellow box may not be clear. Remember the blinking green light means that the green light is about to change to amber. Yellow or amber light. Amber or yellow light signal means that you must stop if safe to do so. This quick decision can be made if motorists anticipate the point of no return. Point of no return is the point beyond which you will not be able to stop. Directional light. 
Directional lights are used at intersections along with the traffic signals to control the movement of the traffic in particular direction, mostly to the left or U-turn. Intermittent light. Intermittent lights are flashing amber or yellow lights fitted mostly on single light posts. These lights are commonly used on pedestrian crossings or near the school zone to warn the motorists that priority shall be given to pedestrian and children. If the regular traffic signal shows intermittent light, it means give way to the vehicles coming from the left. This practice is commonly seen at roundabouts. Pedestrian lights. Pedestrian lights or signals are used to help pedestrians to cross the road in a controlled manner. It is commonly found at intersections or junctions. Pedestrians may press the button and wait for the lights to change to the green walking signal. Before crossing, make sure the vehicles have stopped. If the pedestrian green signal flashes, do not begin to cross. Traffic Signal Law The law says that if there is not a policeman organizing traffic or any traffic sign for the same purpose on junctions or crossroads, the priority of crossing must be given to vehicles coming from a main road. Where there is a roundabout, priority shall be given to whoever is coming from the left. Article 8, UAE Federal Traffic Law No. 21, 1995. Always drive safely and follow the traffic sign, rules and regulations to drive safely. And remember, safety is more important than priority.